Hey, what's going on booktube on YouTube? Today I'm actually going to share with you July's TBR pile. Stick around. Hey, what's going on? Do you consider yourself a bookworm, book lover, book addict, book geek, any of those bookish terms? Feed your need now by subscribing for more bookish videos. Pretty much I just want to share with you some of the books that I plan on reading this month. We're going to see how much I can get through. Um, being that I am kind of a slow reader, this is a really challenging pile for me. Especially, let me share with you guys. Right now I'm actually reading Heartless by Marissa Meyer. This is a book that I had started maybe like in 2017 but I never got to finish and not because the book wasn't any good but pretty much because I got distracted with other books. I read more than one book at a time sometimes. And I also want to share with you a book I received in the mail today. One of my Twitter followers, Marissa Modi, I actually hope I said the name right. She actually sent me a copy of her book, so I want to send a huge thank you. Without any further ado, I want to share with you the books that I plan on reading for the month of July. So my first pick for the month of July is The Accidental Bad Girl by Maxine Kaplan. This is actually a book I actually bought at BookCon, and I definitely want to read this one. The second one on my list is a classic, and you guys are probably going to laugh, but I've never been a classic person. I've never actually read a classic. So the classic that I chose to read for the month of July, hopefully I can get to it, is Withering Heights by Emily Bronte. The next book I actually hope that I can get to is a book that I got a few months back. It was actually sent by one of my YouTube uh, subscribers and someone who's actually become a really good friend. Uh, this book is actually called Shadow Shaper and it's by Daniel Jose Older. So the next book on my TBR list is An Abundance of Catherines by John Green. As you can see, I actually got it off of Target. And this book seemed really, really funny and quirky for me from reading the back anyway. <laughs> about a guy that he got, he's dated like 19 Catherines and the relationships all sucked. I don't know if he preferred women named Catherine. I really don't know all of that, but this is something I definitely want to get into for the month of July. The next book I actually want to get into for the month of July is A Court of Mist and Fury. I absolutely love A Court of Thorns and Roses. And so I'm really super excited to get into this one. This one is gonna be awesome. I can feel it. <laughs> Another book that I really want to read because I feel like I've been left out of the loop and I've seen this movie and I know the book is gonna be way better and give me more information than what the movie could. So pretty much I want to actually have the chance to read this month my very first Harry Potter book. Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. Definitely, this is one that I feel like I should have read a long time ago. But you know what? Is now is a good a time as any, right? Last but not least, I definitely want to buddy read this book with Sheraldi. We actually got this book together at BookCon, and this is the first book in the in the series by you know the Lunar Chronicles by Marissa Meyer. Just coincidentally, I'm actually reading another one of hers, Heartless. And I can't wait to get into this. I'm really loving Heartless, so I'm really hoping that it's the same kind of style of writing in Cinder. Well, guys, that was my TBR for July. Hope you enjoyed that. If you have any comments or questions about any of those books, mostly comments because I can't really answer any questions about those books, but if you have any comments about those books, please post them below. Which one do you think I should read after I read Heartless? So which one should be next? If you consider yourself a bookworm, book lover, book addict, book geek, any of those bookish terms, feed your need now by subscribing for more bookish videos. Take care.